My dentist told me that some of my teeth have root resorption. Should I be concerned? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about root resorption. First of all, what is it? Root resorption is when the physical root structure of your tooth begins to erode or dissolve away. It essentially disintegrates, leaving a weaker, shorter, or thinner tooth root behind it. And although root resorption is not something that is visible when you smile or look in the mirror, you can't see it. Your dentist can see it on your dental x-rays. Sometimes, if it gets more severe, you may notice some physical symptoms, which we'll talk about in a bit. But first, there are two types of root resorption. There's internal and external. Internal root resorption is where the tooth dissolves from the inside out, where the canal widens and takes over the root structure. And external root resorption is where the root disintegrates from the outside inward and the roots of the tooth start to look shorter and more blunted over time. So how does this happen? There are four main causes of root resorption. Number one cause is from trauma, traumatic injuries, like a car accident, getting hit in the face during sports, or even getting butted in the head by a squirmy toddler. I've actually had multiple patients where that's happened to them. But yeah, Traumatic injuries, things like that, can permanently damage the nerve inside of a tooth or a few teeth. And interestingly enough, symptoms from tooth trauma can take weeks, months, or even years to develop before you ever notice anything. So if something did hit you in the face and hurt your teeth pretty badly, always tell your dentist, even if the pain goes away, so they can take an x-ray and continue taking x-rays to monitor that area over time. Two, resorption from braces. When teeth move too fast or too aggressively, resorption can happen, particularly when the tooth movement isn't controlled. Lots of times with at home, clear aligners, without the supervision of a dentist. And having said that, dental pro tip, public service announcement. If you are someone who is planning to do at home clear aligners where you buy them online or whatever, without the supervision, without the care of a dentist, please know that you are putting your teeth at risk. They are the most vulnerable and predisposed to having root resorption occur with the at home aligners. This is because there isn't a dental professional monitoring the movement of your teeth like there is with traditional braces or in office clear aligners where your dentist or or orthodontist continuously monitors your teeth during ortho treatment. And they're checking for any root resorption happening. If they notice any signs of resorption, they will take action to prevent any issues. Issues being mobile or loose teeth. But if you're doing them at home yourself, you won't know until it's too late. Speaking of mobile, loose teeth, another cause of root resorption is from gum damage. Periodontal infections can cause root resorption. It's likely due to problems in the periodontal ligament, which is the connective tissue surrounding your entire tooth root. And in the cases of gum disease, the ligaments become infected and detach, causing issues like gum recession, bone loss, tooth mobility, sore gums and teeth, bleeding, and bad breath. Fortunately, however, gum disease is easy to screen for and 100% reversible when it's caught in the earliest stages of gingivitis. I will link my gingivitis and periodontitis videos in the description box if you'd like to learn more about the differences between the two, prevention, and treatment. And finally, the last cause of root resorption is from nerve damage. Whenever the pulp, the nerve tissue inside of the tooth root is infected, it can cause internal resorption. Normally, an infected dental nerve presents itself as an abscessed tooth. I have a video all about that as well, where there's visible swelling or drainage near the tip of the tooth root through the gums. But not all nerve damage creates abscesses. Other internal resorption may look like the tooth is thinning out or has a large void forming in the middle of the tooth root closer to the crown. These types of scenarios, like most scenarios, are best diagnosed with dental x-rays. So if you're looking for signs and symptoms of root resorption at home, especially especially with external root resorption, you usually won't ever experience any type of noticeable symptoms. However, once it starts to get more severe, you might start to notice tooth mobility, loose teeth. But if you are someone whose dentist mentioned to you that you have signs of resorption on your x-rays, like for example, if you're an adult and you had braces years and years ago, and now years later, they notice resorption all of a sudden on your x-rays, but you're having no symptoms, more likely than not, it will just be something they continue to monitor. Don't freak out. It's nothing to worry about at this time. Oftentimes it's just something they will continue monitoring. Terrain. In the case that there is something more aggressive happening, like you have loose teeth, then your dentist will definitely discuss a treatment plan with you. For example, they might recommend retainers or splints to hold the teeth in place. If you have an infection or inflammation, that of course needs to be addressed as well. Sometimes you may need your resorbed tooth to be treated with a root canal. Same thing with pain. If you're having pain, we need to get rid of the pain. But it's worth noting that not all resorption or abscess teeth will hurt, so never let pain be a determining factor as to whether you're going to seek out care. Root 
routine preventative care is always best. Oftentimes there's no pain with resorption. So in all, the type of treatment you will need for root resorption will depend on whether it's internal or external and what type of symptoms you're having and how severe it all is. And yet another reason why dental x-rays are so important to have on file at your dentist's office so they can monitor the health of your tooth roots. I will link my dental x-ray videos in the description box as well if you'd like to learn more. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com or hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.